you're here because you just got accepted into the Google AdSense program, but you're seeing this error that prevents you from making money. You're seeing this banner that your earnings are at risk. You need to fix some ads.txt file issues to avoid severe impact to your revenue. In this video, I'll show you how to fix that if you have a WordPress set. Let's get right to it. Congratulations, you just got accepted. Once you go to Google AdSense in your home, you see this banner. If you click on the sites icon on the left hand side, you see here the sites that have the approval status, which is ready, but the ads.txt status says it's not found. If you click on the question mark, it says that it's missing when it was last crawled. In order to fix that, click on the link and you see your ads.txt file right here. This is your ads.txt file and you can simply copy that. In order to use it, simply click on copy this specific code. Now this text is copied to your clipboard and you can go over to your WordPress dashboard. On the WordPress dashboard, go over to plugins and select add new plugin. I'm going to select the file manager. Click on install now and this is the, uh, file man the WP file manager from for WordPress. I'm clicking on, I'll click on activate and go over to the file manager in the plugins bar on the left hand side. Go down to file manager. Now that it's installed, go to the left hand side where you see WP file manager. Click on that. I'm going to select no thanks. And here we see all of the files associated with my hosting server. Make sure that you're in the root directory in the top folder right here. On the top hand bar, click on the new file button right here. And we're going to select a text file, a plain text file. We're going to call it ads.txt. Keep in mind this, you see a pop-up that says new file complete, edit file. But if you don't see this or this window goes away, you can simply you can simply go to the directory where you see ads.txt. Now right click on the ads.txt and select code editor. As you can see here, the current ads.txt file is completely empty. If you haven't copied it yet, select copy one more time and click right click and select paste or, or select command V or control V on Windows. Now we can see here that it actually has data as input. You can go to your domain, in this case it's Moluker, and click forward slash ads.txt. And you should see exactly what was on your AdSense account previously. So now that we added this specific ads.txt file, if we don't need this plugin anymore. I recommend that people that don't regularly add files to their hosting servers, which is honestly 99% of people, I would recommend to these people such as you and myself to uninstall it because this plugin has access to your root directory and it might be a security issue. This plugin is totally fine to use, but uh, I don't like to keep the access going while I have it. WordPress file manager and I'll deactivate it. And once I'm done, I'm going to even delete it. You can see that your plugin is still available by just reloading this page and you see that the file is still there even though you uninstalled this plugin. If you go back now to your site, you can see here the last updated uh, date is today. But uh, if you want to have Google recrawl the site, you can go over to your console. You can type in the location of where this file is. In this case, it's uh, moluker.com forward slash ads.txt. I'm going to click enter and I'm going to request indexing. I earned the first cent yesterday and we're on track to convert our website traffic into revenue. This is totally not necessary because Google regularly crawls your site, but it might speed up your process. You can go back to your regular page, refresh the page, and you still see that the banner should still be there. But after a day or two, this banner will go away and you can start placing ads on your website. Two days later. It is two days later and we can now see right here that the ads.txt status says that it has been authorized. There's no more banner up here, which means that if we go back to the home bar, we see that our website now is already on Google AdSense and it's starting to earn money. If you want to learn how to use AI in order to make money online or to be more productive at work, subscribe to this channel because I got a bunch of videos in the pipeline that will show you how to turbocharge your productivity. And by the way, if this was helpful, please like the video. See you in the next one. Bye.